Okay, here we are talking about trumpets and cornets today. Um, this is a trumpet and a cornet. You can see that there's a little bit difference in size, although they play the same music and they sound very similar. Um, the uh, I'll talk about the trumpet first. Uh, the main parts are the mouthpiece. Uh, you've got the lead pipe. This is the main tuning slide here. Each, the, these are the valves and the bell. Those are the big, big main parts. Um, the, uh, the valves, this is called, this section here is called the valve casing. That's where the valves go. There are three valves. Each one is numbered. Usually, Sometimes the manufacturer puts them on the casings themselves, but usually they're on the valves on uh, the piston itself somewhere, either on the front or the back. The parts of the valve are pretty much the same whether you're talking about a trumpet, a cornet, or a baritone or a tuba. You've got the piston itself, you've got a small valve guide which will change um, position and what it looks like depending on manufacturer and even in different models there'll be different uh, uh, valve uh, guides. There's a spring inside, uh, the casing, the valve casing top cap, the button, and this small piece right here is called the, uh, um, the valve stem. Now, on the inside of the casing, it's difficult to see on, but if you look down in it, you'll see a notch about a third of the way down. Now, on the, uh, the valve guide, there's a part of it that sticks out, and once that notch goes in there, you, you can't turn the valve. So that's where you know that the valve is aligned correctly. If the valve is not aligned correctly, the air will stop and it will not go through, so you'll know. So if a student comes in and says, oh, I can't, my horn doesn't blow, chances are the valve, they've taken the valve out and done something or spun the, uh, uh, the valve around that you can't, uh, the, uh, the uh, um, valve guide is not aligned properly. Um, on the, uh, on each one of the valves you see that there's a slide. This is the first valve slide, the second valve slide, and easier to see on the back, the third valve slide. Now on the third valve slide there's the finger ring and there's a screw that holds it on there. Now some manufacturers have a guide or a lock on the third valve slide. Uh, this is a Bach trumpet and they've got a plastic guide and lock on there. The Holtons have a screw that just goes against uh, just one of the braces. And uh, some manufacturers don't even have anything. What that does is that it allows it only to go so far so that it doesn't fall out and get damaged. On the first valve slide you can see that there's a th saddle. That's uh, kind of a nice feature. The uh, this allows for the tuning, independent tuning of the first and the third valves. On some notes that they have to do that. So, uh, mouthpiece uh, is important. The uh, putting the instrument together is pretty pretty straightforward. Mouthpiece goes in the vet in the uh, lead pipe. The student should put it in and give it a slight turn quarter turn and that will hold it in and then we're taking it out just back it out turn it the opposite direction and pull out. Students should never pound it in because it will get stuck. If the, in, if the mouthpiece gets dropped and the shank on the bottom gets uh, drops and it gets flat, what it will do is it will get stuck in there. That's most commonly uh, stuck mouthpieces. So. As far as maintenance goes, uh, trumpets should get cleaning, I would say, once a year. Uh, the students can do it every 
two months by themselves in a bath of warm water and at, uh, like so dish soap. Uh, we sell the snakes to clean these out. You can either look at the care kit uh, or uh, for the snakes. Okay, that's it for the trumpet. <laughs>